Recently on Facebook, I saw a video of a quote that Stan Lee once said during a Comic-Con convention. And the synopsis of it is, if you have something that gives you passion that you enjoy doing, an idea in your head that brings you joy and passion, then don't let anyone stand in the way of that dream. Don't let any jerk talk you out of what brings you joy of your thought or your idea. And he's right. You shouldn't let anybody talk you out of anything that brings you joy, anything that brings you passion. If you have an idea that brings you joy, that you think is a good thing, that you think is worth pursuing, that pursue that passion, pursue that dream. Because God gives us those dreams, those ideas, those desires. If you have an idea or a dream that you think will change the world for the better, then go after that dream. Go after that vision God put on your heart. Go after that idea. Pursue it. Yes, it's going to require a lot of hard work on your part, a lot of learning skills that you may not yet know, or developing skills that you do have. There's always things you're going to have to learn and grow, whether it's getting former education by going to college, or just going online on YouTube or wherever resource you can get a hold of to learn and to develop those skills necessary to achieve those goals and those dreams. So don't let anyone tell you your dream is dumb or your idea is stupid or it just won't work. Remember, many visionaries, many, 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 all, in fact, successful people who were successful in their ideas were once told those ideas were stupid, dumb, worthless, or wouldn't go anywhere. Do you think Steve Jobs wasn't told that the iPhone is a stupid concept? Do you think the inventor of the MP3 player wasn't told we already have a medium, there's no need for that? CDs are the rage. Do you think the inventor of the DVD wasn't told he was stupid, VHS is the wave of the future? Do you think that uh, Henry Ford wasn't blocked? No, you can't make an affordable car. We won't let you do it. Did he let them stop him? No. He sued the trust and got the trust broken up. And then he went after his dreams. He did it anyways. Do you think Mother Teresa waited for permission from the church? No. She once said in an interview that she asked for permission, never received it. She did it anyways. And she went on to say, don't wait for the permission do what God laid on your heart and the permission will come. You don't need the approval of other people around you to go after the dreams and visions that God has put in your heart. You don't need people's approval to go forth with the idea that's in your head. Don't wait for the approval of other people to step out in faith and go after those dreams, to go after and pursue those ideas and bring them to fruition. Because 98% of the people aren't going to stand with you. 98% of the people are going to try to talk you out of your dream, of your vision, of your idea. 98% of the people are going to tell you that you can't do what is in your heart to do. That They're going to tell you why it can't be done. Why you shouldn't. They're going to give you a lot of, well, I tried that and stories. 98% of the time, yeah, they may have tried once or twice, but they gave up. And because they couldn't succeed, they want you to give up too. They don't want you to prove them wrong. They don't want you to break out of the status quo. They don't want you to come up with that revolutionary idea. They don't want you to succeed. For various reasons, they want to see you fail. They don't want you to change because then it challenges them to change. And because they settled, they want you to settle. Now, I'm not saying every idea that pops in your head is a good one. Stan Lee wasn't saying every idea that pops in your head. In fact, he said, I'm not saying every idea that pops in your head is a good idea. But if something truly brings you passion, truly brings you joy, really gets you going in the morning, pursue it. And remember, failure is a part of success. All successful people failed their way to success. Henry Ford started several businesses that failed. Thomas Edison took hundreds of thousands of times to come up with the light bulb and other inventions and failed. And every time he failed, he said, hey, I just discovered another way not how, how not to make a light bulb. He didn't just give up. 
successful people continue where unsuccessful people just give up. And successful people do what's necessary to get things done, whereas unsuccessful people don't. Or as one quote said, successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. And that's true. I'm not saying it's going to be easy and that it's just going to be a cakewalk. It's not. That's why most people give up because following your dreams, following the visions and, and goals that God has put on your heart is hard work. You know, I preach to myself when I share this message. It's very easy even for me just to give up and say, Who am I? Why did you choose me, Lord? I can't do this. Yes, it's like the scripture says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. You just have to believe in God, believe in his word, and believe in yourself. Because God put those desires in your heart. God put those visions in your heart. As long as it's going to better the world and make the world a better place and leave the world a better place, it comes from God. And you should pursue that and go after it with all your heart. And let nothing stand in way of achieving that which God put on your heart to do. Don't let some loser, some bozo, some jerk talk you out of it just because they were afraid to try to go after their dream, after their goal, and after the things that God put on their heart. Don't let the turkeys of this world talk you out of being the eagle you were created to be because they want you to settle so they feel comfortable. Don't let people put you in a box or prison you in your comfort zone just so they can feel comfortable about themselves. You weren't created to live in a comfort zone where nothing grows. You can only grow by stepping out of your comfort zone into the unknown and walk on the water as it, as it were. To say to the mountain, be removed and cast into the sea. Get out of my way. I'm coming through. The righteous walk by faith, so do those who step out in faith and go after their dreams. That's what makes a visionary. They see the impossible as possible and they make the seemingly impossible come into reality, to be reality. They say it was impossible to get to the moon. We got there. They say it was impossible to send an orbiter Mars. We did that. They said it was impossible for a phone call to be made without being on a landline. We've done that. There's lots of things that we can now do that were once considered impossible. Even flying. Hey, one of the Wright brothers, the Wright brothers' own father said in a sermon that if God wanted us to fly, he would have gave us wings. That flight is impossible. The very next day, they proved him wrong. The world is changed by people who prove people wrong and follow through with that which God put on their heart to do. So that's my challenge to you each and every day. If there's an idea that God has put on your heart that's going to change the world for the better, you go after that dream and don't let anyone talk you out of it. Keep it as a pearl of great price. Pray about it. Seek God about it. Go forth and change the world. Be the world changer you were created to be and leave the world a better place. There are no neutral interactions. You will always leave everyone and everything better or worse than you found it. What kind of person you want to be? You all have a blessed day.